Hi, this is AlkaLogic. We're going to talk today about FPGA Tick to Trade. These are systems that are fast, they're flexible, and they're still feature rich. I'm John Lockwood, PhD and CEO of AlkaLogic Systems Incorporated. So trading systems have evolved, starting with the specialists that traded in the pits. So on behalf of their clients, making markets, buying and selling, futures and options contracts, trading in times that went from minutes down to seconds to software trading systems, automated trading systems that ran on desktop computers that allowed traders to, from a desktop computer, trade in times that went from seconds down to milliseconds, just thousands of a second. This software was optimized, is that by putting servers into co-located data centers, by bypassing the operating system kernel, is that these software systems were pushed to the limits to trade in time scales that were microseconds instead of milliseconds. So just a few millionths of a second, some of the best trading systems and software are trading. But that's not the fastest, is that FPGA accelerated trading goes a step further, is that these are algorithms that are implemented in gateware instead of software. These algorithms run on field programmable gate arrays, or FPGAs, instead of on CPUs. And these systems trade in nanoseconds using logic. And AlgoLogic is a vendor that has been helping customers move algorithms from software to hardware over the past decade. We built tick to trade systems and risk management systems by putting algorithms into logic, and we've achieved some of the lowest latencies in the market. A little background on the winners and losers in the market. So gateware is fast. So the latency of FPGA gateware on a time scale can be measured in deep sub-microsecond, which is an order of magnitude faster than the next best systems, which are the kernel bypass optimized software systems that are trading on time scales of single digit microseconds. These systems were an order of magnitude or two better than the desktop systems that were trading at tens to hundreds of microseconds or even milliseconds. Software has other issues, is that whereas software that ran on desktop systems would often have wide variations in its response time, kernel bypass helped to reduce that. So the jitter or the delay variations from software with kernel bypass reduced by eliminating the kernel, by being very careful with thread scheduling and by being very careful about cache tables, but it's still very difficult in software to control those latency. FPGAs get the tightest control over latency. On an FPGA, we know exactly how long it takes hardware to execute. We know exactly how many clock cycles and thus how many nanoseconds it takes to respond. So our trading systems are very fast and they're very deterministic. And the firms that are using FPGA trading systems are the firms that are winning most of the profits in the exchanges today. So these FPGAs are achieving the fastest tick to trade. These firms are consuming the raw direct feeds from the market, and they're instantly reacting to trading situations as they come up. Whereas firms that are still running the software-only systems are missing trade opportunities, their customers are losing alpha, and in some cases, they're dropping out of the market. So AlgoLogic is here to help. We are a vendor. We are not a trading firm. We help our customers trade faster. And so to do that, we've taken time-critical trade algorithms and mapped them into FPJ logic. And these algorithms achieve deep some microsecond response time, which is faster than you can achieve on a software system, even passing over a PCI Express bus, the latency to get across that bus will be longer than it takes us to implement the entire trade. So our systems that we've optimized for our customers always respond faster than software. The transition from software to hardware is not always easy. And so to help our customers make that transition, we've made our systems very flexible is that we've used parameters that are defined in software and provided APIs so that our customers can adjust their trading strategies from software in a way that's similar to the way they were doing when they were trading completely in software. We've also incorporated high-level synthesis so that some of the algorithms, especially for the business logic, can be coded with HLS and be used to be mapped into the FPGA logic itself. So this makes those algorithms much easier to understand and much easier to debug by having them written in a language that most closely re resembles what they look like when they were running in software. 
So our systems are feature rich. We can respond to a variety of different types of market data events. We can look at book updates, public market data events. We can even look at the private re reverse path messages that come as our own orders get filled from the exchange. Our systems can instantly associate actions with inputs by using our key value store. So our associative lookup table that we have implemented in the FPGA allows us to have strategies that are locked and loaded, ready to respond to a variety of input cases by associating these input cases with responses. And our systems also support the newest protocols. So while Agologic was first to support MDP3 in the transition to, bi to binary market data, we're also first to support the new CME iLink3 as we send binary orders into CME. So what does the deployment of a typical trading system look like? So Agologic's system is gateware. And so we are logic that operates inside of an FPGA. Our logic consumes data from the exchange, the market data, and we send orders back out directly to the exchange over high-speed ethernet. And we can respond in times that are in the sub 250 nanosecond time regime. Now to make this system easy to use is that we expose all the control and all the logging back to software through APIs. And so an order management system, an existing order management system can use our APIs to set up trades that run in the FPGAs and control what happens in the FPGA. Uh, and in fact, an order management system can even send orders through our system to the exchange and so that the less time sensitive trades can be sent to the exchange without any modification to the software. So by sharing that iLink session with software and hardware, you get the benefit of having unchanged software to send orders, as well as the benefit of the speed of hardware to send orders when it's needed. So the hardware itself is a card that can be installed in a standard rack mount server. So for example, our partner Exablaze with their V5P card has a Xilinx UltraScale Plus FPGA device mounted on a half-height PCI Express card. And this card has high-speed Ethernet ports that allow us to directly read in traffic from the Ethernet feeds and respond back to the market. So Agologic is the application that runs on the FPGA cards that implements these tick-to-trade and pre-trade risk check systems for our customers. Here's some more detail of Agologic's tick-to-trade FPGA gateware. And so starting from the top right, market data comes in on our ultra low latency 10 gigabit ethernet Phi and Mac into our feed handler, coming in either from the A or the B feed, which is ever faster. And our market data processor is parsing that data and also maintaining an order book. And so we can see the best bid and best ask prices for the symbols that our customers are trading. Our triggers can be locked and loaded. And so our key value store allows us to associate these actions with the input data that we see from the market data. Uh, our triggers can also be responding to messages that come up from an order execution block. And so when we send an order, our message processing block, such as sending a fixed message or a new iLink3 message, can send that message out through our TCP endpoint, through our FIMAC, back out to the exchange. And this entire process of going from a market data to a trigger to a message processing to a TCP and sending orders back out can happen in as quickly as 250 nanoseconds. So meanwhile, software is still in control, is that software has control over the parameters of the triggers and the parameters of the system. It sees through logs every single event that the FPGA performs. And it also allows that software to inject orders into the system. And those orders can be combined with the orders that hardware is sending. And so that you get the benefit of the sub-microsecond response time for the time critical trades, but also the benefit of having very little software modification to the order manage existing order management system orders that get sent in from outside. A little bit more detail about the business logic that typically gets put into the HLS block. And so as I mentioned is that we can have parameters from software that are setting up uh, thresholds and limits. Uh, we can have our associative lookups using our key value store so that the action to take can be locked and loaded and an association between input market data events can be made instantly in the trigger block and sent back out to execute. Uh, other events that we look at are book updates on the public feed. So we can see as the bid or the ask prices change. Uh, we can see incremental trade summaries. We can see incremental order book updates. 
And then for the, our own orders that we're sending to the exchange, we can see as they get filled or act by the exchange. So the combination of all these events are the inputs to our trigger block and allow our customers to define strategies as a function of all of these that give immediate response to their trades. Here's a little more detail on our key value table that we use to associate matching. So this associates values with named keys, and it's implemented entirely on our FPGA logic as gateware. And so here's an example. Uh, as a market data event comes in with a security ID from the CME using the MVP3 market data, we can look that up and know that we want to react on that event with a value of what price, quantity, and other trading parameters. And so the key value table makes that association and so that our trigger logic can operate based on that lookup and on the live data that comes in. Uh, meanwhile, software can be updating parameters in the key value table uh, asynchronously with the hardware that's immediately reacting so that the trading strategies can evolve over time under software control while still getting the benefit of having the immediate response time of the key value table itself being implemented in the FPGA logic. And so some example events of the kind of triggers that our customers use are they can trigger on the events of the orders getting filled, either completely or partially. Uh, they can trigger as the order book changes, as the BBO changes, is that they can use that as trigger events. Uh, they can also trigger on various types of market data events. They can trade as certain price levels are hit. They can trade as new price levels are added, price levels are deleted, and they can see sweeps in the market and be first to respond as, as those sweeps take out levels in the market. So some more detail on our HLS triggers. As I mentioned, the software-defined parameters can be changed from the C++ API. On the reverse path, we can see our own orders get act and filled by the exchange and react to that. As book updates come in, is that we can see not only the levels be updated, but also the incremental updates as trade summaries and the order book levels get modified. And then finally, with our associative lookup table, is that we can take these inputs as they come into our trigger block and look at the association we have with those inputs. And together, from our parameters, our pre-stored action, our association, the market data events have a trigger to respond completely in logic. So AgLogic has also, over the past decade, implemented pre-trade risk checks on multiple markets. And our newest evolution of these pre-trade risk checks is a platform that runs on the Intel PAC D5005 card. And so on this platform, AgLogic provides our low latency MAC, our TCP endpoint, and business logic that runs with HLS inside of a core. Intel provides a fast data mover that allows best-in-class transfer of data from the FPGA logic to software applications that are running on the microprocessor. And so between these two is that this data mover is providing an efficient, optimized path between software and hardware. And so this combined platform is ideal for hybrid trading strategies. And so in cases like pre-trade risk checks, where some of the risk checks are in line, they can be implemented with HLS or RTL as business logic between the TCP endpoints as orders pass through, is that other types of risk could be done, other software analytics can be running, and the parameters about the trades that are passing through can pass through this data mover. So in summary, FPGA trading systems are faster than software systems. They can respond to market data events as quickly as 250 nanoseconds. Agile AgileLogic systems are flexible, is that we have software APIs that integrate with software order management systems. We have high-level synthesis so that we can tune and adjust the triggers in our business logic for our customers quickly. So trading systems are feature-rich. As I've shown, we can respond immediately to all types of events from the market data and even reverse path events as our orders get filled and act. We have support for the newest binary encoded iLink3 orders on CME. And we also have this fast and flexible associative lookup table with our key value store that allows us to have strategies and associations locked and loaded on the FPGA so we can respond immediately as market data changes. So to learn more about this and anything else, 
uh, reach out to us. We can be reached by email at sales at algo-logic.com. You can be reached through our website at algo-logic.com. And feel free to talk to us at this event. Thank you.